All right, come on. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a Sunday edition of Walk with Regis. Today is July 17th. Tomorrow is my boyfriend's birthday. Again, happy early birthday. Of course, I know he probably doesn't even watch these, so that's all good. And here we go. Today's weather will be in the mid 80s. That's the high. The high will be mid 80s, and the low will be high 60s to low 70s. All in all, a balmy day. There he goes. Not so far ahead, sir. I got a few news stories for you today. Up, oh, squirrel. I see a squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. We just stop. Come on. Alright, so first news. Oh, and there will be a 25% chance of precipitation. First news story of the day 27 year old Ted Dion, or Dion, sorry for if I mispronounced your name, the cyclist who was killed by a drunk driver on Abbott and Kenneflick roads was remembered in a memorial vigil on Saturday. Friends remember him as being a sweet and genuine and honest guy who had just finished building his cu a custom bike and was taking it out for a test ride when he was tragically struck and killed by a drunk driver. The driver fled the scene but was later caught and apprehended and is now facing charges. <gasps> also in the news, a motorcycle traveling west on Route 33 crashed into the guardrail near the Humboldt Parkway and Best Street exit. This caused numerous traffic delays and the exit ramps, exit and entrance ramps to, towards the crash to be blocked for the duration of the cleanup process. No word yet on the condition of the motorcyclist, nor age or nothing. Uh, if I find out any more, I'll keep you updated. There he goes. He's seen another. I hope you don't do that. Happen to just like randomly snatch up an area of patch of grass that might have poop on it. That would be terrible. You're not even looking where you're biting. You might bite some dog's poop. He doesn't like planes. Over this way, sir. You're too far ahead and not the street. Also in the news, a bar named Bidwell Buffalo in Allentown has closed its doors for good following its liquor license being blocked for, I don't know, it doesn't tell me. 
it just says that their liquor license has been blocked and that their limited test run of food menus, including locally grown um, produce items, hasn't fared well. So they have just decided that it's in the best interests of all concerned to close their doors for good because they can't sell alcohol. Maybe they didn't really want to be in business. Because I know if it was my business, I'd find a way to make it work. All right. Next news story. A man stole an unattended fire truck, which was left unattended during a call, has been charged with multiple felonies and misdemeanors. It is alleged that the firefighters were responding to a call downtown Buffalo, and when they came back, their truck was missing. Uh, According to reports, they found the truck one mile away, despite the fact that the air brakes had been engaged, which would make driving very difficult. Uh, According to sources, it appeared as if someone had used a fire extinguisher on the fire truck due to smoke being built up over the fact that the air brakes were on but still being driven. Might have caused a little smokiness, might have made it look like the truck was on fire and someone used a fire extinguisher on it. The individual was caught. And now faces many, 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 many charges. It was also discovered that the night before, he had broken into, um, I don't know if it was a business or a home or something, but a cabinet, and stole 50 bottles of liquor. He faces felony um, charges for that, too. Looks like this guy just went on a whole criminal spree. And I don't, I forgot to write his name down, but it was some kind of Muslim name. And it wasn't one of the, it wasn't one of the common Muslim names either. Good boy. Come on. And last news story of the day. The reopening of the Tops Market. That um, the, the reopening of the location of the Tops Market for the mass shooting has caused a mixture of feelings and emotions within the community. Some feel that they were shopping on people's blood. Others feel it's good to get back to living. So that's how opinions vary. Some are glad to have the store back. Others think it's too soon and premature and that Tops only cares about making money. I mean, I also have mixed feelings about it. Like, I for one think just two months is a little soon but at the same time the people in that neighborhood that's their only grocery store they need their grocery store back and how else are people expected to move on if they can't go back to some sense of normality I mean it's some people think that that top should stay closed and get turned into a memorial site Well, to the people who say that, I ask you, are you willing to make weekly trips to the people in that neighborhood who depend on groceries and stock their houses for them for the rest of their lives and their children's lives and however long that grocery store may or may not be open? Are you willing to provide that entire neighborhood with The grocery supplies it needs that it gets from Tops if you want it permanently closed 
and turned into a memorial site. You know, that's my only question. Look, guys, there's the red tailed. I knew it, it went right to that tower. They've been hanging around the school lately. Do I hear babies? Did they lay a nest on the top of school and I hear babies? I hear a little cheeping. I know it's a pair of them. Ah oh, yeah, let me get back to the dog. Right up there at the, on the top roof of that school, I, I, you know, I was wondering why they were always hanging around up there, but that might make sense that there's, oh, and there's another one. <coughs> Our na local neighborhood kids have been playing with the school skyjack lately, hanging off the sides, driving it around at two miles an hour, just having a grand old time, um, Trespassing on school property and um, using someone else's equipment without permission. Hi! The red tails are about, and I think I hear baby red tails on the top of the school. I've learned to make that call that they make. And I've started using it towards them. And yesterday, as we were on our way home... Okay, so... I'll tell you the whole story from the start. Yesterday, we got off our bus. And instead of waiting for the next bus, we decided to walk down the street. Well... As we were walking, we were about halfway home... When this car slowed down past us, and the people in the car screamed out at us, because I was watching a music video my friend just sent me, and the car slowed down near us and screamed out at us, get off your phone, pay attention, and started shooting at us with a BB gun. Of course, these BBs struck us, and they drove off laughing. And the, the car behind that lady said, oh, I'm sorry about all that. I told her what happened about how we were just hit by BBs. And she said she would try to go get the, the car's license plate. Well, we never saw that lady again. And as we walked about two or three blocks further, when they drove past us again, like they circled back and came after us again and started shooting at us again. The person in the driver's seat was recording on her phone and laughing about shooting um, people walking down the sidewalk, minding their own business. And of Two, two young black ladies who must have been the most disrespectful um, people on the face of this planet. Just shooting at random pedestrians, laughing and having a good old time. So anyway, I started recording. I got right over here in front of this school. And as I was recording, one of these here red tails started circling above me. So I started calling out to it. Because, you know, my brain went from, I just got shot at with BBs, to, hey, look, a red tail. And it's circling around above me like it's trying to tell me something. Never found out what that message was, but. Ah, he seems to hurt, too. No, wait, he's looking at a plane. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's eating.
pretty sure these are red tails. But anyway, it was exciting because for about, about six times, it, it circled above my head, making that call, and just flying above my head. Then it landed on the school, uh, top of the school roof. So it's definitely a mating pair. Oh, another plane? Okay. I've been seeing these uh, hawks more and more. I wonder if they've decided to permanently move into this area or maybe they've been here all along and I just haven't noticed. I mean, I've been here since 2018 and I've only seen them a few times. I've never seen them this many times. Come. Stop. Stop barking at planes. Come on, sir. Come. Shut that. Oh, I see evidence of caterpillars. Look at them leaves. Yeah. Those have been eaten in a way a caterpillar would eat it. Well, maybe not, because a caterpillar would eat the whole leaf. Stem and all. And be proud to eat the whole leaf. Stem and all. So yeah, I guess that's the big news from yesterday. And um, work was all right. I didn't have any pallets to put away, so I worked on putting out excess stock. But there was so much to put out that um, it took me all day just to put away two sections. But I guess not really because I also kept getting stopped and interrupted by dozens and dozens of customers asking for help finding this, asking for prices for that, asking, um, do you have any more of this? I need such and such. Having to stop, having to get on the computer, having to look stuff up. That, that was probably like the other half of the day. Other than that, it was great. I didn't have to get on the register, and it was fine. And I have Sunday and Monday off, so this way Monday. Normally, I work on Monday, but I got this Monday off because we're in, about to do inventory. And um, it's also my boyfriend's birthday. So then I get to stay home and celebrate his birthday. And we're going to have like an all day barbecue thing. Um, well, not really all day barbecue, but we're serving food all day for anyone who comes over. There'll be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Of course, I'll still get up at my normal time of four and be exhausted. But at least if I want, I have the option of a nap. And... Oh, look at this girl's playing. That's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, you can hit that dislike button. It don't bother me any. Share if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. And we will see you guys Friday. Bye-bye.